Hey, I hope you're doing great. My name is Jay and today is going to be a quick but fun video because we're going to learn how to create a Google Chrome extension. And it's going to be a simple one, very easy and quick, but it's going to get you started and you can go from there and create your own masterpiece. So here you go. Um, I have my VS Code open in my browser, my Google Chrome. As you can see, I have google.com because my Chrome extension, um, when you activate the Chrome extension, is going to change Google background. Okay, if you go to google.com, it's going to change the background to whatever you added in your extension. And if you search, the background will keep going every single page of Google. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I have, I just created a folder, it's totally empty, there's nothing here, okay? First file you're gonna create is a manifest.json, okay? Manifest.json, and this file is the most important one, it's gonna have all the details of your extension and a lot more. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna copy and paste like the basics, that way we don't have to write everything. All right, here we go. So right now we have um, the manifest version. It has to be version two. The name of your extension, I'm gonna call mine I eat background. I think that was a cool one, I don't know. Um, description, yeah, um, add a custom background to google.com. All right. I think that's fine. Um, the version, it can be 1.0 1 and the icons. Um, so these are the icons for your extension. Um, if I go right now, you can see here my extensions right here. So for example, they have icons. So we need to add our own icons. And if we go to our extensions right here, a list of the ex extensions, you can see more icons right here. So we need to add those. So the first one, this one right here, icons, are this one, the one on the list of, of the all of all your extensions. And then the um, the ones that says page page action default uh, default icons are the ones that when you go here and here, you can see all these little icons. Okay. Those are those, and these ones are this ones. Don't worry, we, we're gonna see the difference and how you can change them. So let's go ahead and start adding icons. So I have my icon somewhere here. Let's add an images a folder first. And I'm just gonna drag and drop all my icons from here. Let's go ahead and do that right here. All right, let's take a look. So this um, icon 16 is 16 pixels and is uh, the number two, as you can see, that's the icon. And then this one is uh, 48 pixels, and this one is 128 pixels. And when I say 128, it's 128 pixels by 128, 48 by 48, 16 by 16, okay? And then we have another one, another version, as you can see, is the full logo, my full logo. Let's click on this one, here you go, and the 128, here you go. So my plan is to add this version. When you go to the list, you're going to see this version. And when you are in the actual browser here, you're going to see only the version with the glasses. This one. Okay. This one's going to be right here or when you click here. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So the 16 pixels is in the images folder. And this one is icon uh, 16. All right. I think that's what it is. Yep. So let's just copy and paste this here and here and here too. All we need to do is change the number and something here. So 48 is going to be 48. 128 is 128, and here is 16 with the 2, 40 with the 2, 
and 128 we did too. All right, I think we are good for now. I just want to make sure my extension uh, works and actually we can see it on this list. So let's let's just save it. And I don't know if you can see here, there is a, a developer mode that you can turn on and off right here in the right top corner. So if you don't have it on, make sure you turn it on. It's going to be off. Turn that on and you will see this options right here. Click on, on load unpacked and look for your extension. Let me see where is mine. I eat background folder. And as you can see here, my files, I just have images and a manifest.json. That's all I have. So I'm going to click select. And as you can see, it's giving us an error because our content scripts right here is totally empty. There's nothing. So let's go ahead and cancel this. And let's remove it for now because I just want to test it. So let's load again, select. And here we are. As you can see, the icon is showing perfect. I eat background version one, add a custom background is active right now. Awesome. So if we go here and we scroll, let's go to the Google page. Let's, let's click here. And as you can see here, is grayed out because it's not active, but I can see the icon with the glasses, which is what I wanted. Perfect. So now next step, what I want to do is make sure that when we are in google.com, the background changes. So let's go ahead and add back that content script. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add something called matches. So if it match this domain, let's inject some code. Okay. So this one's going to be just HTTPS www.google.com. And what we can do is we can do this at the little star and this is like a wild card. So it doesn't matter if we go to google.com slash whatever is going to change the background. Okay. Or we can just remove it and it's going to be only the home page and that's it. All right. Now I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to add some CSS. So CSS. And here we're going to have an array and our file is name it uh, main dot main CSS. Yeah. Um, we don't have one, so we need to create one. So let's go ahead and just save it and let's me only close this. And now we need just a new file right here. Let's call it main dot CSS. Perfect. Let's add here, um, HTML body just to be very specific background URL. And we're going to get this image right here, which is my logo, just like grayed out. I'm going to just copy the image address, paste it. Let's save that. And, um, now that I, this is this change, I need to like refresh every time you change something, you need to refresh your extension right here. Let's go back to google.com. Make sure my, um, as you can see here is pinned. I don't know if you can see the glasses. Um, if you, if this is not there, you can just click on this puzzle icon. If you see your extension right here, click on the pin and now you can see it there. Okay. Very cool. So it's active. Let's refresh google.com. And here we go. We have our custom background. Now, if I do, I eat uh, websites, you can see the background is still in the search um, results. Of course, it's not, this one is not good. It's not readable, but um, this is just me testing, making sure it works. You can add whatever you want, honestly. Um, you can even build like a, I don't know, like a, your own dark mode, um, with your own CSS, 
because what's happening here, if we go back and we inspect the Google right here, let's go to the body. As you can see here, it is injecting our own CSS right here. As you can see, injected style sheet, just putting in the background and it's replacing the default background of Google. And that's, that's about it, right? But you can do so much with a Chrome extension. You can build something so complicated that you can create a whole business around it, right? But this is a good way to start. Hope you learned something new and that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.